My name is Pinky Cole, CEO and founder of Slutty Vegan ATL. I started Slutty Vegan in August of 2018 in my two bedroom apartment. This idea was only supposed to be a ghost restaurant, but I wasn't thinking big enough because what was supposed to be a ghost restaurant ended up being one of the biggest concepts in the country. The name Slutty Vegan came from a crazy idea that I had in my two bedroom apartment. I am literally an idea machine. So I got in the kitchen, started creating recipes, and literally got a shared kitchen and started serving out of that shared kitchen. People would DM me their order and then they would pick it up. I had so much people coming to the facility where I was making food that I got kicked out of that facility and I had to buy a food truck. I've never been on a food truck. I've never purchased anything from a food truck, but it put me in an uncomfortable position that I had to really challenge myself and grow. And that was actually the best thing that happened to me because what I did from there is I started to go in all different parts of town, on the east side, on the west side, and people would literally come with their lawn chairs, they would come with umbrellas, their notebooks, their laptops to come and patronize my business. And then I knew that it was big than food. I have five children and she was one that always wanted to do just more than any of my other children. She uh, strived to do the best at everything she did. So I stopped eating meat in 2007. Um, and I like to tell people that I'm marinated in the womb of a vegetarian, so my mom is vegetarian. I grew up not really eating uh, like heavy meat, right? So I would eat chicken and fish often, but not a lot of beef, not a lot of goat. My parents are Jamaican, so I grew up mostly eating fish, um, and I was a seafood lover growing up. In 2007, I decided to make the transition to be a full vegetarian and not eat any uh, flesh from a chicken or um, from beef. And then five years ago, I decided to make a complete transition to veganism because I just didn't want to eat flesh anymore, and I thought that I was doing my, serv my body a disservice by continuing to eat dead animals, and I'm so glad that I made that shift because the level of clarity that I have is unmatched because I don't eat meat. And it's ironic how things work because the universe was good to me because now I get to get paid to do what I love and I'm walking in my purpose and this is naturally who I am. The Slutty Vegan Tour started in January of 2019, um, just weeks after I opened up my first brick and mortar. Um, and it was overwhelming in such a good way because we didn't expect so many people would come support if we go to another city. So one of the first cities that we did was Los Angeles, California and the line was down the street and around the corner and we were floored, we had no idea. So then we realized we had something good. So this is not just an Atlanta thing. This is a worldwide thing. Slutty Vegan is hype. It's black owned for us, by us. Not just for us, but it's definitely by us. It's hype. It's good food. If you want to like support your people, go. I don't mind standing in line two hours for something that's worth it because people was definitely standing in line a lot longer for Popeye's. So, and they are definitely not by us. People want Slutty Vegan and they don't just want it for the food, they want that experience. People come for the experience and they leave with the food. And beyond that, with the tour, people from around the world are so proud to support a double minority. I'm a black woman who has a successful black owned businesses and I'm breaking down the notion that black owned businesses don't succeed and they don't have great customer service and they don't have quality products. We have all three and we continue to show people that black owned businesses can thrive every day and that's a part of the reason why we go on tour to show people that we can represent every single place that we go. There have been so many celebrities that have eaten Slutty Vegan from Cory Booker to um, P. Diddy to DJ Khaled to Omarion to all the last few former mayors of Atlanta, um, you name it. So many people have come to eat Slutty Vegan and it's just a beautiful thing. Slutty Vegan is so important in addressing the health disparities that we face in the black community for more reasons than one. One, it gives people another option so that they don't have to eat meat. A lot of people don't know when you consume a dead animal, there's an origin where that meat came from, right? So if that meat was slaughtered in a way where the animal didn't feel happy and they knew that something was going to happen, there's a certain chemical imbalance that happens. There's a chemical reaction that emits that goes into that meat. And again, we are what we eat. So when people eat that meat, you are also consuming all of the chemicals, all of, all of the diseases that the animal had. And because this is a big business, the meat industry 
how do we know that people are taking care of the good of the meat to give to the people? So to be able to have something like Slutty Vegan where we're introducing alternatives to meat just shows us that we're moving in the right direction. And if more businesses do what we do, then we can really put a carbon footprint in the world and in our society. And then ultimately in our communities, people can go to the local store and get plant-based options. You can go to the corner and not have to eat from the fast food restaurant that's serving meat that's so processed that you don't even know what's in it. But you can have healthier options that even though it may be a bit processed, even though it may be fast food, it's still 10 times healthier than what you would have ate in a dead animal. Food has been a social justice issue for years. Um, factually, if you really think about it, oftentimes veganism wasn't something that was celebrated in our communities. Either we didn't have the resources or we didn't have the information. If you go to the local grocery store in your urban community, you don't see the freshest fruit, you don't see the freshest meat, and we don't have the options that, say, a Beverly Hills would have. So we don't have access to the same amount of resources that, you know, upper echelon neighborhoods have. So for years on end, we would settle for the traditional soul food, the things that would bring us together pre and post slavery. Um, and now, you know, it feels good to know that people are walking into this level of truth, right? So now how do we really break down that paradigm on the social injustices when it comes to food, especially in the black community? You know, there are a lot of diseases that plague our communities, diabetes, high cholesterol, sodium, all of these things, but it's about what we eat and you are what we eat. And coming in from, as the owner of Slutty Vegan, it's my mission to make sure that even if it starts at vegan comfort food, I can walk people into a level of truth to understand that it doesn't have to be dead to taste good and you have options and it doesn't have to be an animal and you know, it's guilt free. And I think that we do a very good job at that, which is why Slutty Vegan is so successful. To see so many black people come together in the name of food and not stand in line for Jordans or for cell phones tells you a big deal about this movement and how we're making history every single day when people line up and wait for hours to patronize the business. I'm just happy to be in a space where there's so many great opportunities. On the surface, we're closing a lot of brand extension deals. We're opening up more locations. We have investments. We have people that support the brand genuinely. And we're just excited about really like introducing this brand to the world. Slutty Vegan is a household name, not because it just has good burgers, but it's a movement and we're revolutionizing how people see food. And people see food in a way where it's cool, you can have a great experience, and you can have fun while doing it. That's why when people come through the door, they're happy, they hear music, they have fun, they get yelled at in a good way because we're connecting the two most pleasurable experience and that's sex and that's food and we're putting it together and making it a positive and making people reimagine food.